Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, Horton Bonsai. In this video we'll be repotting the Trident Maple. I acquired it last year, so I've never done anything with it. Well, it's got a few issues which we'll address in the video. If you like to stay tuned, we'll get the video underway and we'll get them repotted. First off, we'll cut the wires out, get it out of the pot. I've already prepared a pot for this tree. So we'll just start going round in a really little pattern, teasing the roots out, getting the old soil off. Never been Ray Potter for a while, eh? Got some ugly roots on it. You want to get bulbous one there. One crossing the trunk there. We'll see if we can do away with them. Ugly. So I'll go and wash the roots out and we'll come back and we'll see if we can remove them before we raid pot it. That's a just proper ugly. <laughs> Back in a sec. All the roads cleaned off. <clears throat> so after washing all the roads, I'm going to remove this one. And hopefully that's just below it. So let's have a look.
feisty thing. Cleaning the cut up. As you can see, we've got all them roots coming out that side. But we're getting rid of that ugly curly root on the front. I'm going to take this one off at the back. I'm a tiny bit on that one now. We've got these ones here to replace it. It's one same grow that can fill into there. Got another little one coming across the trunk. We'll just clean these cuts up now. Getting cold. All right, that's them ugly roach off. We're trying to give it a bit prone. I'm just looking for bent and curly ones. Watch you crossing. That one's sticking up in the air. One's underneath, so I'll get rid of that. Under there. This little one is crossing over the top. Sticking up. Just going to come in underneath and cut anything off what's growing down. That one's dead. That one's crossing underneath there, so we'll take that one off.
this one's a bit high goes up and down we'll take that off that we've got these new ones underneath it replace it but this one going back on itself we'll take that off Oh, it sits nice and flush now. That's all I want to take off that for this year. As long as I've got shot of them ugly roots, I'm happy. Other issues we have with this tree. I didn't do the carbon. I bought it like that. I've got this thick branch at the back, which is broke. We've got this ugly branch at the top. On this back, I've got a new leader. There, the one that snaps. So I'm gonna take that thick branch off. Just like that. And the cut up a bit. And we'll just use this new one into there. It's ugly one at the top here, coming off. So when we plant it, we'll put a bit of an angle on it and we'll wire that up to create a new leader. So, time to get it in its pot. This is a pot I picked. I got this pot given, so it should be all right. Take a bit of this thick root off here. There we go. Right, bit soil. I get asked a lot about the soil. It's Lebanon's tree, rose and shrub with pot and grit. It's about 60 40. Get that off. Too high. Too much soil in the know. We'll get the gym pliers just to tighten the wire up. I prefer to wire the trays in the pot if I can. Better stability. Pull and twist. Get some soil under the back and tilt it forward. So 
Oh, we'll continue filling it up. And we'll get our chopsticks, the most important bit. Get all the arrow. What we'll do is we'll have a look, see if there's any roads sticking up and just cut them off. Die off with the air yeah, like, but it's better cut them off. <laughs> We'll have it ready potted. What I want to do is add a bit of wire onto this. I want to twist it and bring the top forward. Because it's too flat at the minute. So I can pull that top forward. This branch is a bit thick as well. But if I cut that off, I'm going to have nothing left on the tree. So I'm going to leave that one, make a decision on that later. Hopefully these will thicken up and catch up, but we'll see what happens. I'll anchor the wire onto this thick branch. Try not trap any new shouts we're getting. And we'll give it a nice little twist. And cut the dog ends off. <laughs> Going down, so I'm going to cut that off. Got a back of them buds. I've got three coming out the same spot there. I'll get that off. See them up there. Get the middle out. I'm going to need to bring this a bit more forward. Add a bit more wire onto these. I might even put a few in placement anyway. Like so this wants to come down up. I'll add a bit more wire onto that top.
give it a couple of wraps around and you can make the shape Twist it and bend it. It's starting to take shape already. Oh, I that one down. Maybe Zay's down a bit. I can't really get this down unless I put a heavy wire on it. But I'm hoping something pops in the back there. Then I can do away with that altogether. Because it's being too thick. Yeah, we'll get these couple of wires down here. Then we'll have a look. Gonna have to come across the front of the trunk, but it's not getting in no shore, so <laughs> don't matter. Anchor, anchor the wire around the trunk. And away we go. down around go back maybe like this the branch going straight up I don't know when I'll get shot there. That bottom there. Down. Once this back one fills up a bit, we'll bring that into the back and we'll bring that down into there when it gets a bit more length under it. Just this ugly thing now. Right, I'll get a bit heavy wire on there and we'll see if we can bend it down a bit. I'm gonna 
c'est le moyen. I'm going to put a bit of thin wire on this back branch and just train it into place. Might as well while I'm on, it's only one left to do. And one at the top here. There we have it. There's a rope sticking up, so we'll get shot. Alright, I'll give it a water and we'll bring it back in. And I'll just give you a quick look at it before we end the video. It looks ten times better than what it did. Especially by removing them roots. So that was just a quick little video on repotting the trident maple and putting a bit of shape into it. So for this growing season, it can thicken up the branches and stop in place hopefully. There's no harm in it, like I say. It's the first time I've had a go at this tree. So we'll just keep thickening these branches up and prune them back once we get thick branches. We need to do something with this carbon at the top. It just looks like a hole, so I might create a shari down there once it's healthy after the ray pod. I'm quite happy the way it's turned out. Looks like I see it ten times better than what it did. I'm hoping it does pop there so I can get rid of that thick branch. Just out of proportion at the minute. With the tree and the rest of the branches. We'll just see how it grows. Please, we got them roots off. Because, like I say, it was just ugly with a big knuckle on it. Now we've got some Nabari, which we can expose as the years go on. We can lift it up and get it bigger and thicker. There's one thing I did forget to do. And that's tighten the wire in the foot. Terrible for that. <laughs> Don't laugh at me table, because I made it. With the lich and burn. And epoxy. So, I'll bring you in and give you a look. Tell you about the noise on the table. So once this one grows, we can bring it in. And back. 
I really only bought this tree so I could take cuttings of it so I can start some clumps. Hope it turns out a nice tree, it's a bonus. We'll just see how it grows. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da, folks. Thank you.